Why do I think this is the perfect summer snack? You can whip up these granola cups ahead of time so you don't have to be stuck in the kitchen when it's super hot outside. Also, they're the perfect base for all the summer goodies like fresh berries. And each serving packs 15 grams of protein, so it's a nutritious yet refreshing snack. And the best part, you can also use them as mini pie crusts or for other desserts like tarts or mini cheesecakes. The cups are made with just a handful of simple ingredients. Two cups of rolled oats, I like using old fashioned for better structure so they don't crumble after baking. One cup of finely chopped almonds for healthy fats, but other nuts or seeds work too. I also add quarter cup of natural peanut butter for a protein boost and to help bind everything together. Two tablespoons of maple syrup for natural sweetness and to balance all the flavors I sprinkle in half teaspoon each of salt and cinnamon. Also I'm going to add two egg whites which I just beat with a fork, they'll help firm everything up so the granola cups pop out of the molds easily and stay crunchy for days. Mix everything together well, it's easier if you do that with your hands. At the end the mixture should be sticky when pressed between your fingers. Instead of baking the granola on a sheet, we'll bake it in a muffin tin to make cups that will fill later. After greasing the pan with some butter or coconut oil, divide the mixture evenly into 12 muffin holes, about 50 grams each. Then, using a back of a spoon, press the mixture and make a well in the center to shape the granola into cute little cups. It can get too sticky if you try to do it with your hands. Bake the granola cups in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes at 320F or 160C or until they start to get golden brown. When they're done, the outer edges will be crispy, but the entire cups will crisp up even more as they cool. So after 10 minutes, use a butter knife to remove them from the pan and let them cool down completely. What I suggest is to make them ahead and then fill them just before serving. Now when it comes to filling them, the options are endless. They're the perfect vehicle for all sorts of delicious things. You can simply fill them with yogurt and add sliced fruit on top, it could be Greek yogurt, plain or even vegan yogurt. But my personal favorite is banana peanut butter. I start with 1 tablespoon cut cheese in the cup, add a few slices of ripe banana, drizzle on 1 tablespoon peanut butter for extra protein, more cut cheese and top with some melted dark chocolate and chopped walnuts. It's like having the best peanut butter banana sandwich but in a cup. Or you can eat them empty as they are, especially if you're in a hurry. And I can tell you they're delicious either way. It's best to store the cups in the fridge, they'll stay fresh for up to 7 days in a tightly closed container. And add the toppings right before eating. It'll take you a minute to fill them up. But here's a little trick that can help you keep them crunchy even when filled with wet ingredients. Melt some dark chocolate, then use a pastry brush to spread it on the insides of the cups. The chocolate will firm up and create a barrier that prevents the cups from getting soggy when you add the yogurt or cheese. They're chewy, they're crunchy and you can make them taste exactly how you like. Honestly, these high protein granola cups are so tasty, so they could totally pass for dessert. Or try making this high protein ice cream that you can enjoy all summer without any guilt. It's made with strained Greek yogurt and it can be flavored in so many different ways. Check out that recipe now. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay happy.